Hi there, welcome to another video from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. This one's taken a little bit of time to put together because the file preparation uh, that I wanted to accompany in it has, you know, has been quite difficult. So this is the Ordnance Board's President's Report from 1942 to 1945. And what we're looking at is our Patreon page here. That is, this is a public post so anybody can access it, but please do consider supporting us on Patreon um, when you do access it and you'll get access to the memorandums themselves as we upload those over the next year or so. What this is, is the summary report of all of the Ordnance Board activities from 1942 to 1945. Now you can see from the headings of the sections below, this is a big, there's about a gigabyte and a half worth of documents in this uh, file, these files alone, 13 files, we've got it separated into the index, bombs aircraft to detonate as bombs aircraft, fuses, small arms, which will be the main focus I'm sure for, for um, followers of this page and patrons, uh, small arms ammunition, which I know um, Jack from Cartridge Gram will be all over, um, and then different ordnance, ballistics, propellants, tubes, artillery is in here, field army artillery, coast artillery. Um, all of this stuff is, is available. So you, know, you will get a lot of information from these uh, summaries alone. They give the Ordnance Board memoranda reference numbers, which is very useful. Um, but they don't provide all the detail, of course. Uh, you know, these are just summaries, and it will talk about you know, Sten gun development, Bren gun development, Vickers uh, variation, stuff like that. Uh, the pier is in here, I'm sure. Um, and and, and you know, we'll talk through. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the small arms. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll go to the index first, then the small arms, then a quick look at the small arms ammunition to try and draw out stuff which will entice you, hopefully, to support us on Patreon um, and to use this material in your research. So here's the first file. This is the index. If you don't want to sign up and support us on Patreon regularly, then please do consider donating through... Uh, you know, PayPal here or buy me a coffee for a quick single donation there um, but what you'll have is, so this is you know it shows the 1st of December 1941 to the 31st of December 1945 so actually you've got the whole of 42 whole of 43 whole of 44 whole of 45 plus a month of 1941 so four years and one month's worth of small arms ordnance developments uh, now let's have a look. So this, the, we've got their report. It talks a little bit. It's a table of contents. Everything that's in there. So yeah, small arms there. Page 93, all the way through to 115. Um, and you can see that all the yeah, machine carbines, mountings, medium machine guns, heavy machine guns, projectors, all that stuff is in there. Um, small arms ammunition, the same. You know, big wide range of things. Uh, and then we've got ordnance, ballistic propellant primers cartridge cases cartridges tubes vent um, loads of projectile stuff in here as well um, radar amazingly the mortars are separate which is a bit frustrating from the small arm stuff so you'll have to go and dig into more mortars um, but the um, yeah radar is is there loads of stuff on anti-tank guns in field army artillery less anti-aircraft coastal artillery and then the constitution of the board so if you want to you know loads of different names on here that um, researchers may well be be, be be familiar with Saunders Knox Gore for example yeah, spent many many years around um, around the ordnance uh, department, um, small arms committee. Before that, different roles and, and things like that. So we've got all of these people. So the, yeah, it, it's a nice study in itself. But if we head over to the um, file three on our downloads, we have stuff from fuses, bombs, aircraft to small arms. Now the small arms are quite a way in here. Um, you can take a look here. You know, you know, don't get distracted now. Um, I always do. Fuses, mine, pistols, bomb aircraft. So that's what fires the bombs. Lots of stuff in here. Maybe, I don't know what's in here. Bouncing bomb. I assume the Ordnance Board saw that. Um, you know, it, some of those fusing systems, I have no idea. Uh, but let's uh, depth charges, enemy aircraft bombs and fuses being examined as well, and then small arms. So there's a nice preamble with the small arms. Um, let's just zoom in a little bit. So it talks about how oh look, develop a seven point in July 1943. We're going to develop a 7.92 self-loading rifle. Um, 
her the 7.92 cartridge as designed for the BSA was unsuitable so that will answer some questions um lighting mark 4 vickers tripod up here so that became the mark 5 uh war off board has been represented war office standing committee on infantry weapon development um yeah so yeah d d d nice overview there uh let's then look at what's actually in there um rifles so obviously number four of rifle was being it was developed uh the number one mark three still in use a lightened number four for jungle warfare um i'm assuming that's what would become the number five yep it was uh the light number four was found satisfactory and was to be called number five um sorry i'm using the pdf here which isn't great to uh to to to, to, to zoom in on so self-loading rifles that will be an interesting um area to look at right and boys anti-tank rifle lightened bren expendable magazines the bren obviously is a um key area here let's get back across bezal faulkner guns uh the malvin johnson three or three inch malvin johnson that's intriguing loads of stuff on the bisa um hispano 30 mil 0.5 inch browning uh so obviously that became quite widely used in armored vehicles 15 mil bisa um and the 0.303 inch vickers not much happening look um yeah i'm sure there's lots of minor uh, developments but mainly about um 8z ammunition and that develop and use over the period of the war um then we've got hispano 20 mil what's that down the bottom there 20 mil john inglis chambered for hispano ammunition stuff i you know is outside of my area of uh, of knowledge the polston that i do know again the polican um interesting the polish erlican to be known as the polican um and so then does that become the polston i don't know um interesting interesting thought loads of 20 mil stuff muzzle covers more 20 mil stuff in development too oh sorry about that um magazines for the 20 mil 20 mil ehrlichen 20 mil inglis again mobile anti-aircraft equipments how they're being used so obviously we were trialing look german flak 20 mil airborne mountings um used as part of operation market garden a couple of them end up in arnhem with the first airborne reconnaissance squadron um cradles muzzle covers uh small sniping equipment that will get people going won't it um twin 50 brownings though there we go that's good stuff um plm anti-aircraft mounting um so that was used on there we go tested on crusader threes but used on churchills and lots of other things um oh vickers mark 5 tripod uh interesting stuff to go through sights and telescopes and so number 32 scope for the number 4t uh, different sniping equipments from around the world were obviously being trialled, German stuff being captured and sent back as well. Observers telescopes, night aiming, um, sights projector grenade, okay, I'm not sure what that is. Anti-aircraft sights, machine carbines, this one is for um, Matt at the Armourer's Bench, sure, historic firearms, uh, loves his machine carbines, so we've got Owen maybe Ernest Malley on Twitter would like to see that as well Sten stuff in here the Vesley Vesley V42 heard of the V42 uh the V43 so I didn't know that stood for Vesley Patchett um maybe we'll get to uh who 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 trialed it and who who was using it um that would be interesting wouldn't it if this answered the airborne questions and all of those things oh computer's frozen a little bit these are big files i'm working with here uh bsa machine carbine smith and wesson mitchell how advanced yes um oh the m3 so the grease gun is in there as well some comparative trials which is nice to see uh pistols browning um the tarn uh different lubricants preservatives i mean that sounds dull but there's probably lots of good stuff in there um grenades lots of grenade stuff hand grenades 75 grenade as well um more grenades american types of grenades general purpose grenades grenades and grenade throwers so north over projector again some stuff for matt in here i'm sure um the grenade projector for the rifle igniter sets um fuses silencers 
uh, Beezer barrels. Okay, so what they've done is they've separated out some of the different subjects themselves because I can see here you know, tripods was now tripods were separate and the barrels and then general machine gun stuff and then foreign munitions as well. So uh, the MP44 look gets a trial um, and report. So um, that's interesting. Soliton uh, MG42 stuff will be in here. Um, reports were received which showed an encouraging departure from the excellent standard hitherto maintained in general production. So we were pleased that their production quality was getting worse. Excellent. Um, FG42, uh, MP43, uh, telescopic sights, loads of stuff in there. So plenty of uh, small arms reviews and trials. And then small arms ammunition is a really quick look. Um, because the computer's being slow. Uh, we've got loads of stuff on 303. Gosh, there's going to be pages of it. Um, 792, 792 developments, all of that stuff. 9 mil, 0.5 inch or 50 cal uh, or 5.0, depending on 55. So there's plenty of stuff for people to look at here. Please do download. Let us know what you, um, you know, find interesting. Please do comment and please do consider becoming a Patreon and we will be getting the memos up and shared as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.